And really, you know, in the whole house, I don't think I paid anybody anything for any help. It was, we had our three parties and had friends help me a few days here and there. I'd, I'd say maybe a hundred, around a hundred man hours of help. Uh, but the rest really I did myself. This was like a giant Stairmaster with sharp edges. By the end of the day, my thighs and calves would be very sore. I think it probably took about a week per side to, to do the roofing for all, all the different steps, the Tyvek and the purloins, purlins and the metal. And I'm moving quite slow because you really don't want to tear that Tyvek or fall. And I would often get confused about where my angle was and how that angle fit on the house. I, I did make a few wrong cuts, but not too many. You can see I'm confused here. Yeah, and the, the edges on the metal get very jagged from using a backwards blade on a skill saw, so you want to be real careful laying it down to not tear up that Tyvek. One of the great things about living off the grid is that after your initial investment in your solar panels and all that stuff in your house is that monthly you have very little, there's very little money that is needed to, to, to maintain your home. I'd say about $150 a month, that's right, $150 will cover all my home needs. That includes property taxes, propane for cooking, uh, gas for my generator when I need it, gas for the chainsaw to get firewood. Um, the phone and the internet, that's all covered in $150 a month. So imagine what you could do with all that extra money that you weren't paying on rent or your mortgage. And that's why I'm, I'm able to uh, get by on, on very little money now. I don't make a lot of money, but I don't need a lot of money. And, and just that has given me so much freedom in my life to create music. And I want to share that because I think more people need to know that. I know I was inspired by stories in Mother Earth News and Backwoods Home and there's a guy who wrote the, the $50 underground house. His name was Mike Oler. There was Bill and Athena Steen who wrote the Straw Bell House, although I, it was before their book when I, I had a Xerox pamphlet of theirs to, to learn about Straw Bell building. And that I didn't know about that. I, I was like, wow, that's possible. I, I want to do that. So that's why I want to make this film. I, I want more people to know that there's many people, not just me, building houses you know, for $5,000 or less, or $2,000 or less, or it doesn't take a lot of money, it just takes some time. I can see, see clearly. Just happened today Something For which I've had to pay I had to learn Exactly why I had wings But never did fly Clearly, but I can't 
Pretty cool. Anna DeFranco has a song called Swan Dive where she makes fun of building her own empire out of car tires and chicken wire. Well, I did that and it was fun. That's what moldy straw looks like, you can't use that. Those are homemade windows at a 2x6. So I think for the whole house I spent, well, you know, less than a thousand dollars on all the windows. They're not necessarily the, the sophisticated kind of window, but because the insula insulation of the straw is so good, it you don't, uh, it doesn't matter. Well, I should say it's not so crucial, especially with wood heat. If you use a few extra pieces of wood to heat your house, it's okay. A lot cheaper than buying um, expensive windows. That was all the bad straw, the waste straw that'll be used for the garden. And I did have some store-bought dust masks, but they would just keep on breaking, so ended up being better off with a, a bandana and usually moistened it with water because uh, the dust from the straw is annoying. I'd love to see people going in together and buying land together, helping each other build, uh, maybe installing a, a community energy um, system, whether it be at wind or solar. I think that could help definitely defray a lot of the costs and effort involved. It's, it's amazing how quickly things go when, when people are helping each other. I've noticed that with some, some of our house raising parties. It's boom, in a day, what, I, what would take me two weeks to do was done in, in six hours. And that's, that's wonderful. It, psychologically, it's just great to have things move along like that. I would... 